What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over a plugin called VimWitchKey. So as always you can find all of the configuration over on my blog, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, you can also check out the NeoVim config that I'm working on if you want to grab some of the config for yourself or install it. Uh, make sure to leave a star or fork it, I'd really appreciate it. Alright, so to install use your favorite plugin manager, this is the syntax for VimPlug. I have a video on VimPlug if you are interested. Uh, create a config file. So what I typically do is I create a config file. I'm creating this one in keys. I'm calling it witchkey.vim. Uh, what are you going to add to that configuration file? Down here is a good place to get started. This is just like a sample starting configuration um, with just some key bindings you may or may not have the commands for, but this is mostly just like FCF ones that I included here. Uh, there will be a lot more included over on my actual NeoVim config if you check it out. So what is WitchKey? Vim WitchKey is a port of Emacs WitchKey that displays available key bindings in a pop-up. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so actually let's make the screen a little bit bigger and I will enable this. So Vim WitchKey looks like this. If I press space, it will show all of the, like uh, essentially leader key commands, right? And then groupings of other leader key commands. So, so if I press L, I will go into LSP. LSP standing for language server protocol. If I press G, I will go into Git. Um, if I press S, I'll go into search and that'll be like all the FCF stuff. So you'll press that and then essentially you won't forget any of your leader commands anymore. If you do forget your leader commands, it's okay because you can go and find out all of them right here, right? So let's get started with something simple. So we'll come over here and imagine I wanted to comment out this line. So what I would do is I would press space and maybe I don't remember what my comment is, uh, but what my comment is, it's a forward slash. So I'll just do a forward slash and there we go, it's commented out. If you do something fast enough, the uh, menu won't even show up. So if I do space, uh, space slash, it won't even show up and I uncommented it, right? So let's look at some other stuff we can do. So. Um, COC, and if you're interested in COC, how I'm getting this IntelliSense stuff, I have a video on IntelliSense with COC. Um, but it's letting me know that props is not declared, or props is declared, but its value is never read. So we may want to fix that. So what I'll do is I'll press L, and maybe I don't remember the key bindings that I used to fix that. So I'll press space, and then I'll press L. And then what I'll do is I'll look around for maybe something that I can do with this. And okay, so here's a line action. So let's do an action on this line. So let's press A. And what are the options for actions that we have here? We can remove the unused declaration for props. We can prefix props with an underscore. We convert to a snippet or add and remove braces in the error function. So I think a reasonable thing is it's unused. So let's just remove it, right? So we'll press one and now it's gone. So that's kind of just showing off more LSP than anything else, but it's kind of just still showing off uh, how which key can be useful. So let's do something else. Let's jump between these hunks. So you'll see that each one of these are called hunks, right? So like this would be like a hunk here. Uh, these groupings of uh, signs that are there. So I know that has something to do with Git, so I'll just come in here, I'll press space, and then I'll press G to open up the, the nested menu within G. So let me show you that again. So I'll press space, all right, and then right here, I'll press G to go to Git. All right, and I wanna jump between them, so maybe I'll, okay, here we go. J is for next hunk, K is for previous hunk. So what I'll do is I'll just press J, and then I'll press space again, G, J, space, G, J space G, J, right? And then if I wanna go back, space G, K, space G, K, right? So that's something you can do. That's just maybe something you forgot how to do. Um, but there's other things we can do, especially with Git, right? Git has lots of options. Um, we could do something like I think S, or yeah, we could stage in each individual hunk and maybe you forgot the key binding you had to do for that, right? So we'll do space G, S, and now we stage that piece, right? You saw the thing go away. But we're not really showing off git commands here, we're showing off which key. So let's do um, another thing, let's do searching. So I'll press space and then I just press S. And these are all of the fuzzy uh, finder commands that come with the FZF plugin, right? Um, there's a lot of options here and I'm not gonna go through every single one. And you can check them all out. But let's say I wanna look for files and I forgot the command for files. So I'll just go into here and I'll press F. And now I can look through all my files. So I know I have one called layout in here somewhere. Uh, it's actually the first one. All right, and now we're in layout. Okay. 
So another one that I have is you might notice like uh, this doesn't look good, right? That kind of looks like a mess and maybe this is there's too much space here too and I don't know there's probably maybe some other uh, bad formatting. So what I'll do is if I forgot how to format and I don't remember what the binding for that is, I'll just press space L and then okay, what is my language server protocol? What does that give me? Okay, I have something for format. So I'm pretty sure this formats everything with a capital F. So I'll press capital F and there we go. The entire file is formatted and uh, it's formatted by prettier. You'd have to install the prettier command for that, but which key is just showing me how I would do all these things. So I have an explorer, I use COC Explorer, so if I press space, and then I'm like, okay, E stands for explorer. All right, and then I can get rid of it by pressing space E again, all right? So it's just, your leader key already did that, and if you do it fast enough, you don't even see the menu show up. But it's nice when you press it, and then if you don't do something fast enough, you can see all of your options. So another one would be like um, splitting your windows, right? So V will split the window for us. And then I can press space Q and then get out of it. Um, let's see what else. We could probably go over toggling. Yeah, so T is for toggle. T is for toggle all the way over here, right? And what we can do is we can do T and then the options for toggling. I'll wait for the menu to go away so you can see. So we can toggle the Explorer, which is something similar that we did a second ago, but we could also toggle line numbers. So I can press N and that gets rid of all the line numbers. So T, N to bring them back. And then I could also do T relative line numbers. So R would be for relative line numbers. And now I have relative line numbers, right? So that's just toggling relative line numbers, something built into NeoVim, but I'm just showing you like, um, if you, you know, forgot what leader command that you had for that, uh, this is the one that I use for that. So, and it also lets you define leader commands too. So like I didn't define these leader commands all over in every single different config file. I define them all in the which key config file. And you can see that by checking out the uh, blog or checking out the config that I have over on my GitHub. Um, so let's see a few other things. Let's turn the relative line numbers off. All right, now we're back to normal. Another thing like um, that we can do is, let's see. I also have like some basic ones in here that are like even nested. So like searching for files I already had in search, but you can just immediately do it. Cause I assume you'll want to do that a lot. You'll want to go search for files, right? So you can just press space F and that'll bring up that. Um, also Ranger is like immediately built into R. So you can press R and then here we are in Ranger, right? So we'll get out of that. Also Startify. So the start screen is capital S because you know lowercase s was already taken by that. So we'll do capital S and now we're over back at Startify. So if we wanna jump between like a different project or a bookmark or a session or something like that, we can do that. Um, and then Startify disappears, which is nice. You know, you don't want it to sit in one of your buffers. Um, another one would be, let's see, uh, capital T will search text. So you can search text inside of files. I showed this in FCF before. So like imagine like, I don't know, like if we wanna search for, uh, I don't know, blog or something like that. See, so like now all of the text, if you look over on the right here, all of the text, all of the files that have the text blog in it start showing up, which is pretty neat, but we're not really demoing that here. Um, let's see. Uh, the last one I guess I'll go over is, you know, because why not? We'll split a window really fast, and this might bother some people. Every now and then, maybe you'll have a window, and I'm just resizing it with all H or all, H, all L, right? That's all I'm doing there. So maybe you'll have something like this, and that kind of looks like a mess. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just press space, equal sign, and that'll balance your buffers, right? And these are commands you might have you know, mapped before and you just can't remember them. And that's why I just find which key so helpful is because I never really forget anything anymore. Uh, the last one I guess I'll show is for uh, dot, I have to just open my init.vim file. So now I'm over in my init.vim file. So if I find that I wanna make a quick change somewhere like on the fly while I'm working on something else, I just push uh, space and then dot. All right, so. That's pretty much uh, everything really for Vim Witch Key. Uh, if you wanna check out like further configurations that I really have on the blog, you can check it out on my GitHub, like inside here, you'll just go inside NVim. Uh, you'll open up keys, you'll open up Witch Key, and then these are all my mappings. That's every single one so far. Uh, you should also check out 
the repo. Make sure to give them a star up at the top there because it's a pretty cool project. I know the guy who made this also made like a like kind of a Neo Vim distribution called like Space Vim or something, which is pretty cool too. Um, make sure you guys join the Discord. Uh, if you're interested, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. And then I'm also on Patreon if you're interested in supporting the channel. And that's pretty much for this video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.